Welcome to Board Games Galore. My name is Chris. This channel we cover the top 5 board games. If you like please click the thumbs up and subscribe. So let's begin. It's time to role play. The top 5 RPG board games. First up is Gloomhaven. The ages are 12 years old and up. There are 1 to 4 players. There is 60 to 120 minutes of gameplay. Some fantasy RPG. Board games will take you barely 15 minutes to learn, deliver a dozen hours worth of fun for you, and your role-playing friends. Then you'll pack it away for a year, fondly remembering, the week you spent immersed, and it's fun, adorable, but shallow mythology, and gameplay. This game is not. Gloomhaven is a colossus. Literally. The game's box weighs about the same as one of the battle axes. The heroes are likely to equip at some point during their journey, through one of its 95 dungeons. At the start of each session which is a campaign, your character draws two personal quest cards, that are their primary objectives for the campaign. The player is required to select only one of these, discarding the other. There are 24 personal quest cards, in total. Quests range from accumulating, a certain amount of wealth, to dispatching a specific beast to whatever, afterlife their miserable species believe in. Once a player's character reaches the fulfillment, of their lifelong quest, they head back to the town of Gloomhaven, and retire. Retiring affects the subsequent campaigns, in numerous ways like unlocking fun new characters and items. Up next is Call to Adventure, the ages are 9 years old and older. There are 1 to 4 players. The average game play time is 30 to 60 minutes. I have included the manufacturer video, after it plays I will return and talk more. Every hero has a journey. From humble beginnings to a grand destiny. The apprentice who becomes a master. The orphan who swears a vow of vengeance. The squire who becomes a dragon slayer. A hero is forged in the trials of childhood. Then tested against impossible odds. Every hero must choose between light and darkness. No two stories are the same. But every hero's journey begins with a call to adventure. Call to Adventure is a hero crafting game for two to four players. Players compete to build the character with the greatest destiny. Your destiny score is the sum of your triumph, tragedy and experience points. Lead your character on their journey to greatness. Your hero is defined by three character cards, Origin, Motivation, and Destiny. Your character will grow as you acquire Ability Runes, Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. You'll also earn points for sets of story icons. Over the course of the game, you'll acquire story cards, Traits give you an immediate benefit. Challenges must be overcome. Cast the runes to see if you succeed. Every challenge presents a choice. Do you choose the path of strength or wisdom? Embrace the light or succumb to darkness. Hero and anti-hero cards give you a chance to twist fate. Maximize your chances of success or hinder an opponent. But, eventually, you'll have to cast the runes and see if fortune smiles upon your hero. You can tap into your darker nature to accomplish what must be done, but beware of pushing your character too far. At game's end, only the highest scoring hero can claim the greatest destiny, but each hero's story is a tale worth telling. So, it's time for you to craft your hero. It's time for you to make your own fate. It's time to answer the call to adventure. Building on the archetypal hero's journey framework, Call to Adventure, is a relatively non-standard addition to the mostly board-centric selection of titles that we review in this piece. And the game? All players are the master, of their own narrative. Cooperation will play no part, in a character achieving their objective, but rather the intelligent, consideration of the challenges they face personally, 
and making choices that propel them towards their fate. The goal of the game is to create the most satisfying journey for their hero. Fortunately, the game designers have not left that to the group's interpretation, but rather created an elegant mechanism that tallies story attributes like triumphs, tragedies, and experience. Next is Dark Souls. The ages are 14 years old and older. There are 1 to 4 players. The average game play time is 90 to 120 minutes. When it comes to achieving a win state, it doesn't get much simpler than Dark Souls. Stay alive, level up, acquire gear, destroy the seemingly endless barrage of ridiculously powerful enemies. As those familiar with the video game will be aware, boss battles play a very large part in the game's sequence of encounters. Much larger than your average dungeon crawler. Opportunities to level up prior to facing off against one of the game's numerous bosses do exist, but they are far scarcer than in your typical dungeon crawler. Hence, the frequent deaths. Playing Dark Souls is a harrowing experience, but if you're someone who enjoys a serious challenge, you'll enjoy every brutal minute of it. Next on the list is Scythe Board Game. The ages are 14 years old and older. There are 1 to 5 players. The gameplay is 90 to 120 minutes. This game is set comfortably in a space, between fiction and reality, in an alternate history version of 1920s, Europe where factions compete for map dominance using agriculture, industry, and giant war robots. Simply put, Scythe is a map-conquering game. Factions vie for control of territories left vacant by the factory, the mysterious city-state that produced the mechs, that fueled the continent's recently ceased conflict. To do this, Players must manage and grow their populace, recruit fighters, harvest crops, engineer and upgrade various constructions, and reactivate giant mechs to aid their cause. There'll be a lot to like here for fans of real-time strategy and RPG crossover games. Managing and upgrading resources is integral to staying in the hunt for a win. Last is Dungeons & Dragons, Castle Ravenloft. The ages are 12 years old and older. There are 1-5 to five players. The gameplay is 60 minutes, back to a more traditional, RPG board game now, with Castle Ravenloft, a great old school throwback, based on slightly simplified Dungeon and Dragons mechanics. It's a dungeon crawler. You explore. You find monsters, who you fight and kill. You find traps, that may or may not kill you. You find loot, that helps you with the aforementioned enterprises. Your characters grow in strength and wisdom. Each of Castle Ravelof's 13 scenarios have a different objective. I was a fun await as you and your friends are tasked with a wide spectrum of goals, from murdering a specific monster, terrorizing the castle, or retrieving a long-lost magical heirloom from its murky depths. Well that is it for the countdown. Thank you for watching. Please comment below if you have any questions or just want to say anything. Don't miss out. See you next time.